Ooh, ooh. Hey, welcome back to the Rock Cloud channel. And today we're going to give you a quick recap on Tesla's battery day. That live stream was yesterday, and today we're going to just do a quick recap to save you all of that time if you wanted to go through and watch the video here. Okay, keep in mind that the stock is very volatile, and so news does fluctuate not only the market, but specifically the Tesla stock. Okay, so overall, Tesla is predicting the following. A 56% total reduction in cost per kilowatt of the battery pack, which will be massive. Okay, these are all things they're working on now moving forward. A resulting 54% increase in range for the same size pack. Okay, all massive news right here. A significant reduction in footprint of factories and cost of scaling up production. 69% less investment needed. Amazing. Okay, silicon anodes with higher capacity and lower cost. New cobalt free cathodes, including very high capacity all nickel cathodes, okay, without the tab. Okay, major improvements to the processing part of the cathode manufacturing. New sources of immense supplies of lithium. Making the structural rear of the car from a single casting, which will reduce cost making the car. Okay, making the battery pack a structural element in the car, effectively making it to add no weight to the car. So it's not going to add additional weight to the car in the future. A $25,000 quality electric vehicle in three years with autonomy capability. That is amazing, mind-blowing news. Okay, due to coronavirus, the meeting was held yesterday outdoors in the large parking lot. And if you like what... They had to say you were asked to beep your horn, okay, instead of clapping or applauding because they're outdoors. A 56% total reduction in cost per kilowatt of the battery pack. All of the various benefits from better cell design, chemistry, and improved manufacturing add up to a 56% reduction in the cost per kilowatt of batteries and their pack. Today, the battery pack is the most expensive part of an electric vehicle. So this is the big driver of a cheap electric car. Both a low-end car and lower prices on high-end cars. Other car makers will need to work hard to catch up. In the rest of the industry, most makers are on the same footing. If they design a similar car, it costs a similar amount to make. No maker has a giant advantage in how much their car can give for the money. Tesla's ability to invest heavily in this is very important underlying technology is paying off for them. Okay, the batteries are going to have better capacity cells with no tabs. Okay, here's a side view of, of, of the new battery that they'll be uh, producing. It's a new battery cell design right here. Okay, they call it the tabless battery cell design. Tesla's new larger cell design uses a network of interior foils instead of the tab, which must be welded to foils and bring energy out of the cell. This will generate a 16% improvement in cell energy density, according to Tesla. They also plan a new process to apply the coatings to the foils, but this is not in production yet. A resulting 54% increase in range for the same size pack. Tied to the reduction in cost of making the packs is a claim of increasing energy density. The result is that cars will, for less money, have more range, while the 250 to 300 mile range of most cars is sufficient for almost all car use. Certain vehicles like trucks, RVs, and cars for very long trips want more range. Tesla claims it will deliver that. Significant reduction of footprint of factories and cost of scaling up production. 69% less investment needed. Much of Tesla's work has been streamlined in their manufacturing processes for cells, cell components, packs, and the cars themselves. As a result, they predict being able to build factory capacity in much less space and with lower investment and lower production costs. This brings down the cost of packs and lets them grow quickly in volume without raising as much money. Silicone is a great and plentiful anode material. Battery cells consist of two materials known as the anode and the cathode with a barrier between them, but it expands when charged and discharged. Tesla has developed new ways to stabilize the silicone and increase range 20%. These methods are not yet in full production. 
Okay, these are all things up and coming and what they are working on moving forward. They have the best engineers. Engineers from around the world contact Tesla and apply to get positions there. Okay, that's how big the engineering department is and, and, and how well it's respected in the industry and in the business place and the enterprise in general. Tesla is making the battery pack a structural element in the car, effectively making it add no weight to the car. Okay, so they're building it into the plans, okay, instead of adding it in afterwards. A $25,000 quality EV in three years with autonomy capabilities. All this progress together makes Tesla predict that in three years it will make a consumer electric vehicle at around twenty five grand. Musk predicted there is no future for the existing gasoline-based auto industry unless they adopt an electric strategy quickly. Okay, very quickly. Okay, he's going to leave them in the dust if they don't. Okay, Tesla announced many modest improvements which add up to a big improvement. Some are being built today at a small scale. Others still need a bit more time and engineering, which Tesla described a lot of work but definitely doable. One of the reasons for many of the changes is to allow them to scale up to an eventual 20 million cars per year, which would be the largest auto company in the world. And I called that in my last video. You guys go back and watch that. By finding ways to reduce the investment and space needed for factories, they can move faster on their growth goals. Musk predicted it would take 12 to 18 months to start realizing most of the gains announced yesterday and three years to more to fully realize them. Okay, so the stock is going to see these gains from this news over time, okay? But it seems to me that the stock is going to be kind of flat. You know, it may even come back down, maybe in the red for a little bit. Okay, Tesla is very volatile, okay? It's very different than any other EV stocks they get involved with, okay? Tesla also reiterated that in one month it will begin to it will begin private data of its rewrite of autopilot, a new version taking a 4D approach, no longer just examining the world as a series of static images. This approach has long been discussed in neural networks, but examining multiple frames of video at once tends to balloon the size of the network. Okay, those results will be interesting to see. Okay, Tesla also teased at the end of the live stream that their new Model S Plaid will be available end of 2021, which will do zero to 60 under two seconds. Crazy. I want to see that. For investors, the total cost reduction contemplated sums to 56%. That would make batteries around $50 per kilowatt hour and enable Tesla to sell a $25,000 vehicle profitably. Okay, Barron's recently wrote, anything below a $100 kilowatt hour for battery costs and enough battery capacity to produce 2 million cars by 2025 would represent a win for Tesla with Wall Street. By those metrics, battery day was a success. Absolutely. So it's going to be from now over the next five years, okay, before they could get the battery cost cut in half or more than half, okay? And then you're going to see this stock roll. We're going to be chasing it again. I, I, if, you're, if you're an investor, hold, okay? If, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a gambler, okay, you need to get out of the stock. If you're temporarily here, yeah, sure, get out, okay? And you can always jump back in, okay, and take it for a ride, okay? But right now, I think the stock is settling down for investors only. Okay, and just sum it up real quick, 384.60 at the time recording this video, TSLA. Hold strong. Let's rock this. Get rich or die trying. Hit me up in the comments. Let me know if there's anything else you want to add to this video or what you would like to see next. I'm out.